Smile on your face. Good. Smash yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited. Yeah, can't we? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Looking forward to the game. How do, how do you feel usually on match days? Do you, do you get the nerves or do you get the excitement? Yeah, more excitement, I suppose. Like, yeah. I suppose it's good to have a little bit of nerves as well. Too. Okay. Keep the adrenaline keep pumped pumping. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I hope you had a good breakfast. I did. Lots of food today. <laughs> can't stop eating. Good stuff. Can't stop. Won't stop. I chose 13 this season because that's my number for Ireland at the moment. So. Okay. And one of the younger players wanted 11, so I said, why not go for it? So we go, Leah, you'll come up, stab, left back, all right? On you, you come in, but if we need to flip it, that's what we're doing, yes? We think that it's going to be because obviously it can change at any stage. Runs, runs, the runs, two normally. 4 4 2 today, it could be a 4 3 3. That's what you've stuck with for most of it. So if it changes, we'll adapt as it goes, but we can take it that's going to be more or less it. Mental, physical, graft. You've got to be at it all the time. There is no day off. Calm, composure, own the football. Let's go to work, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh God, I've never been asked this. This is a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> Anya, it's match day. What does your morning consist of on a match day? What do you do? What's your processes? Yeah, so I wake up, obviously have a little lie-in on a Saturday morning, um, get up this morning, had my porridge, um, obviously have a little son, um, to myself, my partner, we're juggling, feeding him. And he's under a year old, isn't he? Yeah, he's nine months. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah, so oh, he's great, though. How much more difficult did being a footballer become when you became a mum? Um... Not much, to be honest. Okay. It kind of, I think, probably changed your perspective on things a little bit in life in general. Yeah, how so? How would I say? I suppose it balances you out a little bit more and obviously still fully focused on, on football and um, here at Shamrock Rovers and um, working hard, hard towards being on the plane going to, to the World Cup as well. So, um, like I mentioned, my partner Rachel, she's obviously made that transition easy and full focus this year is on, on getting to the World Cup and and hopefully the, the, the team form. Are you aware of that constantly in your mind, that you have to play well because you want to impress to make sure you're on the plane? Look, I think since we qualified for World Cup, it's been in the back of every player that wants to get on the plane's um, mind. And I suppose it brings a pressure, but there's always pressures there. And I think it's how you all handle and you deal with, you, with your pressures as well. And for me, it's just like every training session, just remain focused on that every game, knowing your job, knowing your task um, and executing that. And, um, working hard and doing everything you can to, to be ready um, to, to play. Enjoy the game, girls. How excited do you get for match days? Dread them. No. Absolutely dread them. Why? It's just probably a fear of failure or something. It's just, oh. I do I just hope that everything that we've walked on yeah. have, just comes out on the, on, the, on the match day. It's just... Nerves. Sharp now, sharp now, on your toes. Go! Go, Leah! <laughs> Why was Onya O'Gorman the first signing for this new club? Because she's the best of the best. As she really is, and she's made my job so much easier. She's one that I can go to her with any problems that I think, and she okay. communicates with the, with the group for me. She's, she's outstanding. I, I really I could not put into words of actually how vital she is to what we're hoping to achieve here. Hey, good luck today, Collie. Looking Thank forward you. to it. I'm going to be the mascot for the team. Get out. Really? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Good evening from Tallah Stadium for this League of Ireland Women's Premier Division clash between Shamrock Rovers and Cork City. O'Leary's cross. That's going to play for a goal kick. Cork are absorbing the pressure fairly well. O'Gorman, can she get the chance? She does. Saved by Hannah Walsh. Nearly oh, cross. O'Gorman is there. It's cleared by Shauna McCarthy. And that's the half-time whistle. Rovers nil. Cork City in your thoughts. I don't think Collie will be happy. That's not it. That can't be a reflection on us. That's not it. Second to every ball. You have more desire, more hunger, more urgency. They want to win. 
We talk here about growing something to go win a league. You're not going to win with that. It's not good enough. I'm not going to take it. I should have been there. I should have been there. And at the end of the game, you said we should have won. But we didn't. And we're not going to. If that's what you do. You got it? Come on, let's go, guys. Come on, let's go, She goes. And it's a goal. Rovers have taken the lead and it's Jamie Thompson in the 47th minute directly from a free kick. Yes, well done, Jamie. She is gone herself and she is gone herself and she's scored her first goal. Oh, Leo O'Leary has opened her account for the club about the 67th minute. She definitely deserves that hope the last couple of games. She's been fantastic all season so she deserves that. She's so good technically, she gives us that burst of energy out on the left wing. She'll be absolutely delighted with that. Did you enjoy that game? Yeah. You just the world get going, didn't it? We got there in the end. Yeah. On ya! Yeah. Right, Ma, are you ready? <laughs> Stretch it. Oh, I'm <laughs> it on my hand. <laughs> Will we see you at the next game? On yeah. yeah. That's the one, you did a great job today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you have fun? Did you? On ya! Yeah. There's a World Cup on the horizon. I really hope she's in the squad. She's one that fully deserves to be there, not just because of what's gone in the past. She's one of the top players around at the moment. You had some uh, family in the in the crowd, didn't you? Yeah, you yeah, your, we're part of Rachel. Boys, yeah, James was there. And actually, this is actually the first match in Tallis Stadium. He's lasted <gasps> the last time he started crying, but he was delighted with himself and got to go over and meet some of the girls here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy too? Are you having a great yeah. one? Now the match is done and you're signing autographs, then what, what happens? Yeah, just go in. Get a recovery shake in, have a shower, go home, curry in the chesting room, uh, eat that, just go home and chill out and nice. get going. Good day at the office. Yeah, not bad. Always room for improvement, but we'll take it and move on. I appreciate you uh, inviting us down today and letting us see what you do. It's been a real good insight into like a professional footballer, so thank you. No worries, Thanks, yes. Cheers. See you soon. See you later. All right. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah.